What's up guys, welcome back to the SOL YouTube channel and you join me for part two of my Wyoming adventures in the real wild west with Rolls Royce. Behind me is our Rolls Royce Cullen and by our I mean myself and Shmi150. We're going to be taking this off road, on road, climbing mountains and having all sorts of fun. So let's go. Do you reckon I'm the first person to drive a Cullinan with my hood up? Yes! Could be! I think that's probably a given. <laughs> Warm, you're cosy, you've got your heated seat on. Heated seat and steering wheel. How it should be. This is quintessentially Rolls Royce, I think is the best way to describe what this car's like to The drive. car is, this isn't it. <laughs> yeah! Well, you, should, you, you say that. No, true, there uh, are Rolls mixed Royce, customers. Rolls Royce and, is getting and, younger. And do you know what? I think that's probably part of the appeal of this car mm. to a newer audience, new yeah. customers that might not have bought a Rolls Royce before, a younger audience, an audience that wants it for a more versatile purpose. But you still get all of the qualities and more from any other Rolls Royce because yeah. when you sit behind the steering wheel of this car with the Spirit of Ecstasy there, you've got the long bonnet, you've got the thin steering wheel and you've got all of these very intuitive buttons that are so familiar that you are it, it definitely could, driving a Rolls Royce. You couldn't mistake it for anything and the, no. best, the best bit is the, the silence, the, the yeah, smoothness, the, yeah, the, magic the tranquility. Ride. Yes. What Rolls Royce wanted to do with the Cullinan interior was still provide that elegance and disconnect it away from the capability and utility of the exterior so that you do feel like you are transporting this luxury capsule mm -hmm. anywhere and everywhere. What I love about what Rolls Royce have done with the Cullinan is they haven't tried to make it intricate, they haven't tried to make it too detailed or they haven't tried to make it fancy. They've just got one button. And yeah. then that one button, you can then go in and start to customise it. But if you did just want to hit that button, what is it? It's around 90%. 90% of different use cases, yeah, covered. Just by one press. If you were to compare that to, let's say, the Lamborghini Urus. Oh, yeah, with its eight different, it's, like, total up yeah, and down. Yeah, it's lights. like sand. Like which is never gonna get used. What you have behind me is one of the steepest ski slopes in America. And there we go. Rolls Royce, off road, going up it. And we're next. Hope there's no one coming down it. Are you guys comfy? Yeah, we're good. All right in the back there, yeah, Tim? I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> You're okay? Just okay. Just okay. <laughs> no, I'm very, very comfy. So we're going to come around. This is the uh, the jump. Slightly easier section. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can genuinely see that it's more than capable of doing the off-roading stuff. We're on a fairly, I'd say, advanced off-roading yep. drive. Yeah. You wouldn't think it in this. No. Well, That's I feel I, my driving skills feel way more challenged than yeah. the car's capabilities. Go a little bit to the right. This car is probably exerting less than 30% of its capabilities and I'm exceeding all of my driving capabilities and putting both of your safety at risk. <laughs> the story behind the name Cullinan actually comes from the largest rough diamond ever to be found. It was found in South Africa in January 1905 and the chairman of the mine where this diamond was found 
was called Cullinan. So the diamond was then named Cullinan. It was presented to Prince Edward on his 66th birthday. It was then sent off to Amsterdam. It was cleaved into nine pieces and a few smaller pieces. The two largest pieces being 570 carats and 317 carats now feature in the Queen's crown jewels. The largest diamond ever to be found was called the Cullinan, 3,106 carats the most befitting name for the Rolls-Royce of SUVs. Taking the Cullinan off-road, showing what Rolls-Royce have been able to do with the capability of their Cullinan, we're now on-road. Secret number two is where did Rolls-Royce get their history of SUVs? Because entering the market, you need that link. Entering the they SUV. They found one. They've, they've, they found a few. Lawrence of Arabia was known for off-roading his Rolls-Royce. The Indian customers used to take their Rolls-Royces off-roading into the jungle to hunt. And in, you know, you're good with dates. Do you remember the dates of the Alpine trials in 1913. Vienna? 1913. 1913, <laughs> the Rolls-Royce Silver Ghost partaked in Alpine trials. And that was where it actually got the original statement, the best car in the world, yeah. which I mean, is a huge statement, but they are the links that Rolls-Royce used as an excuse to enter the SUV market. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure if they needed one, though. No, it's about time. <laughs> Stepping into the back of the Rolls-Royce Cullinan, being the most family-orientated Rolls-Royce ever. This car is designed to take anyone, anywhere. One of the first things that Rolls-Royce designed and put into the Cullinan when they were trying to create this car was the split tailgate, but also separating the boot space to the rest of the cabin so that everyone inside this part of the car was not interfered when someone was loading the back, meaning that this can be used as a family wagon, but it can also be used as a chauffeur-driven car, which is why I'm sat in the back of the car to experience a bit of off-roading in the Cullinan, while Shmi 150 drives us up this section of the road, but it gives us a real nice feel of what it is like to experience the Rolls-Royce experience, but in the back of their first SUV ever. So even on these rocky roads, with a 6.75 litre twin turbo V12, 850 newton meters of torque at around 1500 RPM, means that this car sheds all of its weight and allows you to get pretty immediate power. With a double wishbone up front and a five link suspension system in the rear, three stabilization bars, two on the front, one on the rear, with the air suspension provides a clean and smooth magic carpet ride that you get on road and off road. It's so special, everything about this car, in terms of expectations, it surpassed my expectations of what it's capable of off-roading, mm -hmm. and I kind of thought, oh, I hoped Rolls-Royce would be able to surpass my expectations, and they have, but as a sort of driving experience on the road, it's everything that you would expect from a Rolls-Royce, and it yeah. is very, very familiar to the Rolls-Royce brand, which is exactly what the Cullinan was supposed to be. And I love the fact that it's simple in here, but again, it covers and ticks all of the boxes that you need in a Rolls Royce. So, I could drive this all day long. Yeah, completely. And one thing I think that's interesting is when you consider the weight and size of the car, you know, we're talking like, I think it's 2,660 kilos yeah. dry, which yeah. is not light. Um, and obviously it's significantly higher than other models, a touch higher than Phantom, but still higher. The way the suspension system is set up, it still drives in a reasonable way. It doesn't waft around everywhere. Yeah. It, 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 it glides, it's, it's smooth, it's elegant, it's classy, it's... It's pretty, it's pretty spectacular what they've been able to achieve. We've made it back to the hotel over there. Shmi 150 is filming with our Cullinan just right there. So I'm gonna use this, the clean and prestige show Cullinan that we have here. The interior is beautiful, check this out. It's locked. Cool. Anyway, what an amazing first drive in the Cullinan. And a mate, 
a beautiful part of the world and I think I've learned a lot and hopefully you guys have too. My favourite secret is definitely where the name Cullinan came from because it's a story that may not have got out there so I'm glad that I was in the presence of some Rolls Royce employees and people that actually worked and have put their blood sweat and tears into this car to tell me that story so that I could share it with you guys and there it is that is the Rolls Royce Cullinan £240,000 plus options it's probably going to be around £300,000 and upwards but Rolls Royce, thank you very much for inviting me and hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. The weather has been really hit and miss today. Sometimes it's been raining, sometimes it's been blue sky. It's been windy up at the top of some of the mountains, but overall it has been one of the best media drives that I've ever been invited on. Now it is time for me to jump back on a plane, get back to Los Angeles. I've got two more rental cars to get behind the wheel of and much more content to film. So I will leave it there. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And there we go, Rolls-Royce Cullinan, driven. Cheers guys, goodbye.